Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick and I'm a top author on trading room with over 260k reputation points and every day I share a lot of free education and analysis for all of you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all this free content and I will see you on the chart. In today's video, I want to speak about gold. Now, why do I want to speak about gold? Because at the moment, we do have quite interesting price action and structure. So what I will be doing is, as usual, providing a complete top-down multi-time frame analysis, first covering the technical aspect. Then we will go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data which is what the non-commercials and the biggest speculators in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. I also wanted to let you know that currently we're running a special promotion in which not only you have a massive discount on the mentorship program, but we have also partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets and there is the possibility to get a full refund of the mentorship program price directly in your trading account after you have joined. So it's never been this easy to get involved. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, there is a very strong impulse to the upside, followed by this complex correction. Now, in general, after the impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, what we can see is that the market has just tested twice exactly the 0.618 of the FIB taken on the monthly impulse. Currently, the market just tested also the 50% and we are starting to reject this area to the upside. And in general, we can expect more continuation, possibly even for the creation of a new all-time high, because in periods of high inflation, like, like the one that we're currently living in, it's safe having assets like a gold, should and basically stores of value should appreciate dropping down on the weekly time frame what do we have now here in the weekly we can see that in all this impulse to the upside there is one candle not related to the move which is exactly this red candle here and in general when you have an impulse and a correction retesting a, a structure level like this this area should be acting as support and demand. In fact, that is exactly what the market is doing here, rejecting this area of support and demand. And we can expect more continuation as we have already identified by looking at the monthly time frame. Just a quick thing, make sure that you like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below any suggestions for new videos. If we drop down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now here in the daily, we can see that the market has just it broken a quite important structure level and already retested it twice. In fact, this zone was acting as support here, broke to the downside, started acting as resistance here, again here and again here. The market then broke this level to the upside. And at this point, all this previous resistance is turned here, support and demand. The market has already tested it once. Currently, the market is testing it the second time and we can expect more continuation to the upside. In fact, I had already created a full breakdown of gold when the market was around this area explaining all the reasons for which we did expect this rejection to the upside and that is in fact exactly what the market has now given us and by the way i will link in the description this previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education now at this point what we can see is that the market is still below the previous high in fact this zone here, which is basically this previous resistance, starting from this wick, going down to this body, is exactly the level that stopped the market here from immediately going higher. And this area is currently still acting as resistance. But as we are creating this rejection to the upside, there is the possibility at this point to finally break above this resistance. And if the market obviously breaks a level of resistance, that previous resistance becomes support. So if we would actually get a break above and break and close above this resistance on the on the uh, retest of the broken previous resistance turn support, this is a very good zone inside of which we could be looking for a potential longing opportunity. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is what the biggest speculators in the market are doing, 
what we can see here is that net positions lately have been dropping, which is obviously not good because we want to see net positions getting increased. So in the short term, we are getting a decrease. However, it's also very important to point out that in the long term, we went from having 168k net positions up to having 202k net positions. So basically, shorts got decreased from 125k to 95k. And overall, longs, if we look at what happened in the long term, remained the same. Actually, they got increased a little bit. So even though in the short term, we did get this bearish price action coming from this selling pressure, in the long term, everything seems still pretty bullish. So if we will successfully manage to break above this resistance after a break on the retest instead of here, with students, we will be monitoring price action from an intraday perspective, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we will have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market will shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point, we would be looking for a potential long with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete the patterns that we have already spoken about by looking at the monthly and weekly timeframes. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then every single day, you get a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies in live market. And you also get your questions answered every day in the daily q a session so it's a very complete program i really suggest that you go and check it out the link is in the description and i will see you in it